If you gotta start somewhere, it might as well be Power Rangers. And as for you, step back, don't touch a thing, and leave this to the pro. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors you didn't know were in Power Rangers. Mission accomplished, Master Vengeance. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at actors and actresses you may recognize from recent projects who had roles in one or more shows in the Power Rangers franchise. Number 10, Archie Cow, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. You might recognize this actor from his extensive appearances in the original CSI as Archie Johnson, the Las Vegas Crime Lab's audio-visual technician. You hear that? Turbo. Probably Diesel. In fact, he appeared in a hundred episodes of the series. But before he was helping solve crimes in the City of Sin, this Washington-born actor was fighting evil as Kai Chen, the Blue Ranger from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Piloting the mighty Gorilla Galactabeast Zord and wielding one of the legendary Quasar Sabers, Kai helped defend the space colony Terra Venture from the evil forces of Scorpius, alongside the other Galaxy Rangers and the forces of the Galactic Space Alliance. Oh, shoot! Completely burned. Number 9, Anna Hutchison, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Ooh. Are you feeling lonely, Marty? The first character to die in fan-favorite horror flick Cabin in the Woods might have been familiar to fans of Power Rangers Jungle Fury, where the same actress portrayed Lily Chillman, the yellow Jungle Fury Ranger. Jungle Beast! Spirit Unleashed! Yeah! This is me! An excellent martial artist who channels the power of the cheetah, both in hand-to-hand -hand combat and at the helm of the Cheetah Zord, Lily helped the Rangers overcome many an obstacle in their battles against the evil Dai Shi. The actress can also be spotted in episodes of Spartacus War of the Damned, Anger Management, Go Girls, and many other shows. I can't afford to buy my own tricks, but I figured there are plenty of guys who are willing to buy them for me, okay? Number 8. Alonzo Bowden, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. <laughs> One of the most powerful monsters unleashed by the evil and aptly named Diabolico, Thunderon gave the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers a run for their money. Just don't learn, do they? If its voice sounds familiar, it's because he's voiced by this stand-up comedian, who won the third season of Last Comic Standing, and later returned as a judge in the show's fifth season. His appearance on Lightspeed Rescue makes up most of his career as a voiceover actor, as he's otherwise focused on stand-up. He's also appeared on a number of late-night talk shows, as well as in movies like Scary Movie 4. I've read the story before, Mr. President. The duck dies. Number 7. Alex Borstein, Power Rangers Zeo. 37 beers. Well, you're setting a great example for the kids, Peter. The voice of Family Guy's Lois Griffin got plenty of experience playing the wife to an oafish, overbearing husband when she voiced Queen Machina, ruler of the Machine Empire and one of the primary antagonists of Power Rangers Zeo. Mm, darling, look at them run, will you? <laughs> Along with her husband, King Mondo, and her son, Prince Sprocket, Machina attempted to conquer Earth on many occasions, only to be thwarted time and again by the Zeo Rangers. We hit them with a new monster before they've had time to recover from the last one. We can take them by surprise! In addition to this role, Borstein was also a cast member on the sketch comedy series Mad TV, and provided voices for several monsters in episodes of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Number 6. Ika Darville, Power Rangers RPM. What are you doing in my apartment? This is my apartment. That's why it's not crunchy. Jessica's neighbor from Jessica Jones might not seem like Power Rangers material, but for 32 episodes, the same actor fought the forces of Vengex as the leader of the Power Rangers RPM team. RPM! The Australian-born actor has had a number of TV roles, but few quite as memorable as his turn in Jessica Jones and the far more action-oriented RPM. Great. Now all we can think of is how much better the Defenders might have been with a Power Ranger on the team. Punch it! Hand schmand. Let's see a bunch of ninjas try and face off against a giant robot or two. Number 5. Adelaide Kane, Power Rangers RPM. 
before she landed the starring role as Mary Queen of Scots on the CW's historical drama Reign. She was the android assassin Tania Seven. I have created something that looks truly frightening, truly terrible, something that looks human. A normal human transformed by cybernetic enhancements and brainwashed by the Vengex computer virus. Tania's origins are something we won't spoil here. But let's just say there's more to her than meets the eye. For once, it would be nice to get this done before you know who gets here. Sorry, Tanaya. You're too late. In addition to Rain and RPM, she was also Cora Hale in season three of Teen Wolf and Zoe Sandin in the first film of the Purge series. Another franchise that would only be improved by the inclusion of Power Rangers. Are we wrong? Tell us we're wrong. Not to worry. This is just the beginning. Ranger Black will join us or be destroyed. Number four, Paul Freeman, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, the ooze is back. When the Power Rangers made their big screen debut in 1995's Power Rangers movie, they needed an epic villain to match. And who better than this veteran of the silver screen, best known for playing Belloc in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Archaeology is our religion. After all, if you've played the villain to Indiana Jones, you can probably handle some teenagers with attitude. In the Power Rangers movie, he plays Ivan Ooze, an ancient entity able to easily defeat the Rangers when they first encounter him, putting Angel Grove in serious jeopardy while the team heads off to find new, stronger powers. Maybe they should just have used the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, do you want us to take another whack at it? How about taking another quack at it? Number three. Vernon Wells, Power Rangers Time Force. A veteran actor when it comes to playing villains, this Australian actor appeared as baddies in Road Warrior, Commando, and others, and brought his villainous skills to the role of Rancic, the main antagonist of Power Rangers Time Force. If I can't rule the present, then I'll just rule the past! A megalomaniacal mutant from the year 3000, Rancic's plans for global domination after traveling back in time to the year 2001 certainly kept the Time Force Rangers busy. But thankfully, Rancic eventually softened and became a steadfast ally to the team. I created these monsters. Now it's up to me to fix my mistake! Just goes to show that even the nastiest customer can cool down if they just blow off some steam. Oh, how wrong you are. Number two, Rose McIver, Power Rangers RPM. Now I'm mostly just hungry. Oh, and a zombie, so there's that. This New Zealand-born actress had a number of roles on TV before landing the part of Summer, the Yellow Ranger in Power Rangers RPM. RPM, get here! Her career hasn't slowed down since her time on Power Rangers and she can now be seen as a crime-fighting zombie on iZombie. I can choose to help find justice for a fellow dead girl. Back in the 90s, you could occasionally spot her on Hercules The Legendary Journeys. On RPM, she played the fierce but kind and protective pilot of the Bear Crawler, and was essential in saving the world from Vengex on numerous occasions. Come get some. Before we unveil our number one pick, have a look at these honorable mentions. I have to go back. Scorpius will destroy my world if he gets the Quasar Sabers. My name's Adele. I'll be right back. Number one, Brian Cranston, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. By far the most recognizable name to come out of the Power Rangers franchise, the star of Breaking Bad, Malcolm in the Middle, and more started from humble beginnings working in small TV roles before making it big. Now you shall taste my firepower! Among these roles is some voice work in the original Power Rangers series, where he provided voices for Twin Man and Snizzard, two nasty monsters cooked up by Rita Repulsa. Mirrors, mirrors all around! Smash the Rangers to the ground! <laughs> Since his time on the show, he's gone on to massive acclaim, appearing in film and TV. In 2017, he even returned to the Power Rangers franchise as Zordon when the original series was rebooted for the big screen. Yes, yes, you are the Power Rangers. 